In a world obsessed with the skies, where we look up for inspiration and answers, we often forget the secrets hidden beneath our feet, buried in darkness and silence for millennia. In Florida, a land of sun, springs and endless horizons, a recent discovery has shattered our assumptions about what lies below the surface. Devil's Den, once celebrated as a diver's paradise and a natural wonder, now holds a secret that could change everything we thought we knew about the ground we walk on. Scientists, using advanced LIDAR technology that peers through solid rock, have uncovered a vast and mysterious anomaly beneath the limestone. Not a fossil, not an artifact. What they found is a void so immense, so unexpected, it sent shockwaves through both the scientific community and government agencies. The ground beneath us is not as stable as we believe. What we thought was solid bedrock is, in places, hollow and fragile. Project Chimera, a routine geological survey, revealed the impossible, a sprawling network of caverns and tunnels where there should have been nothing but solid stone. On November 18, 2025, the data changed Florida's future forever, sending ripples of concern through communities and officials alike. Tonight, we dive into this unfolding story, speaking with the scientists at the forefront, examining the alarming data, and exploring the rich, mysterious history of Devil's Den, a place that has always held secrets beneath its surface. What does this mean for millions of Floridians living above these hidden voids? How safe are the homes, roads, and lives built atop this fragile foundation? How did such a massive threat go undetected for so long, lurking just out of sight, waiting to be discovered? The ground is shifting, literally and in our understanding of the world, our sense of security is being challenged by what lies beneath. Devil's Den is no longer just a beautiful spring. It's the gateway to a hidden crisis, a symbol of the unknown dangers below. The whispers from below have become a roar, demanding our attention and action. This is not a story about the past. It's a warning about our immediate future, a future that may be more uncertain than we ever imagined. The story begins not with a bang, but with a quiet hum, the hum of discovery, of questions rising from the depths. Welcome to the new reality beneath Florida, where the ground itself is full of mysteries waiting to be revealed. To grasp the gravity of this crisis, we must first understand Devil's Den. More than a sinkhole, it's a karst window, a rare opening into Florida's aquifer. For millennia, it's revealed secrets of geology and archaeology. Early settlers named it for the steam rising on cold mornings, imagining an underworld below. In truth, it's a portal to science and history. Acidic rainwater carved the limestone, creating vast underground rivers and eventually, the iconic spring. The aquifer here supplies drinking water to millions, a barometer for the state's water health. Archaeologists have found Ice Age animals and ancient human remains, perfectly preserved. Devil's Den is a time capsule, a symbol of the delicate balance between nature and civilization. Now, its cultural and scientific significance is overshadowed by a looming geological threat. The window has shown us something we were never prepared to see. The past and future of Florida converge here. Florida's escalating water crisis was the spark that ignited Project Chimera, a bold unprecedented initiative designed to map the state's vast aquifer system using the most advanced technology available. As water shortages worsened and the stakes grew higher, a sense of urgency swept through the scientific community. The state, grappling with rapid population growth and the relentless threat of saltwater intrusion, desperately needed answers. Every year, more people arrived, putting pressure on already strained resources while the encroaching sea threatened to contaminate precious freshwater supplies. Project Chimera brought together a suite of powerful tools, ground-penetrating LIDAR, seismic sensors, and radar technology each chosen for its ability to peer deep beneath the surface and reveal the secrets hidden below. The mission was clear, to uncover hidden fissures, ancient channels, and unknown voids, and to provide new insights for managing Florida's fragile groundwater. The hope was to secure the state's water future before it was too late. A dedicated team of USGS geologists and MIT technology specialists began the painstaking process of scanning the land, grid by grid methodically covering miles of terrain in search of anomalies. For months, the data they collected matched expectations, until their work brought them to the mysterious Devil's Den, a place already steeped in local legend. On November 18, 2025, a drone scan over the spring revealed something astonishing, 
a massive, dark void lurking beneath the surface, far larger than anything previously documented. Dr. Eris Thorne, the project's lead geophysicist, had expected to see familiar geological patterns. Instead, he was confronted with the impossible, a formation that defied all prior understanding. Diagnostics and repeated scans confirmed the finding. The void was real, not a glitch or error, but a genuine geological anomaly. The discovery was far beyond the project's original scope, a vast, hidden cavern system that would change everything scientists thought they knew about Florida's geology. The team realized with growing unease that Florida's very foundation was not what anyone had believed. The ground beneath their feet was far more complex and unstable than previously imagined. The Chimera Caverns had been found, a labyrinth of underground chambers and passages hidden for millennia. What began as a routine water survey had become a race against time to understand a hidden threat, one that could have catastrophic consequences if left unchecked. The ground beneath Florida was no longer just a mystery, it was a potential danger, a ticking clock that demanded immediate attention. Project Chimera had uncovered a secret that could not be ignored. A discovery that would force scientists, officials, and citizens alike to rethink everything they knew about the land they called home. The implications were immediate and profound, sending shockwaves through the scientific community and beyond, as the world realized the true scale of the crisis beneath Florida. The anomaly beneath Devil's Den was staggering, an immense void, starting 800 feet down, deeper than any previous survey. Official maps showed solid bedrock, the LIDAR revealed a vast network of caverns, the team ran intensive scans, cross-referencing with radar and seismic data. Each test confirmed the same, a colossal, active system of hollow spaces stretching for miles. Internal memos called the region, Swiss cheese. The official report warned of large-scale subsidence and unpredictable consequences. Dr. Thorne stated, we have no precedent for this structure, the stability is unknown. The main chamber of Devil's Den was just the ceiling of this vast system, supported by a thin, porous layer. Any seismic event, aquifer pressure change or even human activity could trigger collapse. The ground beneath Central Florida was, geologically, hollow. The threat was no longer theoretical, it was urgent. The Chimera Caverns are a labyrinth multi-level, unstable, and evolving. The largest chamber beneath Devil's Den spans over two miles. In places only a hundred feet of rock separates the aquifer from the void. Recent collapses and debris fields show the system is active, not ancient. Scientists suspect water pressure and corrosive gases are weakening the limestone. The caverns act as a massive, unregulated conduit for groundwater, explaining mysterious water losses and gains in the region. The aquifer is not a closed system raising fears of contamination for millions. Drilling to investigate could trigger disaster, leaving scientists with an impossible choice. The Chimera Caverns are a monster of geology, hydrology, and engineering. Dr. Elena Vance, a leading karst geologist, calls the Chimera Caverns a geological black swan, a rare unpredictable event that upends everything we thought we knew about the ground beneath our feet. For decades, all previous models assumed Florida's bedrock was stable and unchanging. This discovery shatters that belief, forcing scientists to rethink the very foundation of the state's geology. The risk isn't just a single sinkhole opening up, but a chain reaction of collapses that could span for miles, threatening entire communities and infrastructure. The energy released in such an event could rival that of a major earthquake, something previously thought impossible in this region. How did it stay hidden for so long? The answer lies in both depth and technology. Old methods simply missed it, but new LiDAR imaging gave us an MRI of the Earth, revealing secrets buried deep below. Now, geologists suspect that similar massive voids may exist in other karst regions worldwide, from China to Central Europe, raising global concerns. Hydrologically, the aquifer and caverns are like stacked, leaky buckets. Any contamination or pressure change could have unpredictable, far-reaching effects on water quality and availability. Managing Florida's water just became exponentially more complex, as engineers and officials scrambled to adapt to this new reality. The state is now balancing on a fragile, hidden ocean, an immense, interconnected network of water-filled voids beneath the surface. The stakes could not be higher, as the safety of millions and the future of Florida's infrastructure hang in the balance. This is a true paradigm shift for geology and water management, rewriting textbooks and policies overnight. 
The world is watching and learning from Florida's unfolding story, as scientists and policymakers everywhere take note. The future of Florida, and perhaps other vulnerable regions, depends on what we do next, how we adapt, innovate, and protect our communities. The illusion of solid ground is gone, replaced by a new awareness of the dynamic, ever-changing world beneath our feet. The Chimera Caverns revelation has rocked Florida. The governor declared a state of emergency, halting construction and restricting water use in affected counties. Protests erupted as residents and businesses faced economic paralysis. Insurance moratoriums froze real estate and property values plummeted. Fear and uncertainty spread, fueled by rumors and distrust of official information. Communities are divided, some want to leave, others refuse. The psychological toll is immense. People are afraid of the ground itself. The discovery raises questions for all of Florida. Could similar voids exist elsewhere? Project Chimera shattered the illusion of stability. The future of millions now hangs in the balance. The long-term fallout is daunting. Reinforcing infrastructure across the risk zone could cost tens of billions. Funding and liability are hotly debated. Florida's tourism and agriculture face existential threats. The state's brand is at risk. Lawsuits are mounting with homeowners and businesses demanding compensation for losses. The crisis is a wake-up call for other regions built on similar geology. Governments worldwide are racing to assess their own risks. The models we use to assess safety and value must be rewritten. Florida's crisis may be just the beginning. The whispers from below are now a warning we can't ignore. The Chimera Caverns have exposed the fragility of the ground beneath millions. This is not a disaster, but a chance for foresight, if we act. The path forward demands unity, investment, and scientific rigor. Inaction is not an option. We must expand investigation, deploy technology, and map our subsurface world. Knowledge is our best defense. The discovery at Devil's Den is a wake-up call for humanity. Demand action from leaders, support scientific research, and seek credible information. The story of Devil's Den is now global, a reminder of our responsibility to understand and protect our world. The devil we know is uncertainty beneath our feet. It's time to face it, together. The future depends on what we do next.